Very cool. Uh, please remember that most of these kids are playing on an instrument right now that they were not playing on at the beginning of the year in August. So that's another cool thing. For example, we've got two tubas. What did you play last year? Uh, Kellen, what did you play? Trumpet and clarinet. Now they're on tuba. Okay. Um, tuba is a really cool instrument. I'm going to show you what they can do. Okay. Um, give me your mouthpiece, son. Show off for the crowd. How about that sound? Check the carburetor. Uh, sax, what were you playing last year? Violin, right here. Let's hear the berry sax. She got nervous. She got the stage right. Can you do a little
this is our seventh grade band made up of two classes, period three, period five. They've played together exactly once, and that was at 5.30 tonight. Really? So, and it's interesting because they're getting big enough now, we might actually have to split them into two groups next year as the advanced band. So what we used, Mrs. Hartles go, really? This is what we used to do is we used to have the brass in one class with the percussion and then the woodwinds in the separate class. And it sounds really weird that that would work, but it always did. So we'll just have to see. But otherwise, I'm going to have all these kids in one class next year. And I don't think there's any, are there any eighth graders up here? No, it's entirely seventh grade band right here. And super impressive because there, there isn't like, sometimes you bring like your best player from your band band to help. We didn't have to do that. So really happy with these guys. They're a bit rambunctious. They certainly make me earn my nickel every day. Um, but uh, they're, they're fun to work with. And when the light bulb goes off, it's really bright. It's LED. Good. Uh, we're going to play our next piece for you. This is called the Orly Concert March. Orly is a song that was popular and written back in the 1800s, Civil War times. And then you wouldn't know it. You might recognize it until Elvis Presley sang it as Lovely Tender back in the 50s. And then you go, oh, I know it now. Elvis didn't write it. Okay? Somebody you don't know wrote it. We're going to play it anyway. Uh, I just want to recognize our photographer that's walking around all over the place, Mr. Kevin Bonney. Is he backstage? Is he on stage? Where'd you go, Kevin? professional photographer. He actually was our wedding photographer when my wife and I got married. He's all like, I hired him, you should too. There he is. He so thank you so much for coming for us. How many years has it been now? Okay, checks in the mail, by the way. Don't worry. You know what? Buy one burrito, get one half off. There you go. You're welcome, Kevin. Yeah. All right, uh, next is the early concert merch. Kids grew up and you know their parents and now their kids are continuing in music. So um, 
I'm not going to teach here forever, but I do really, really enjoy it still. And uh, when you hear these guys do this, trust me when I tell you, go hear a couple other middle school bands, and then come back here and listen to these guys. And I promise you, you'll have even more pride because uh, it's hard. It's hard work uh, on their end, and uh, I hope you feel really happy with what they're doing. I'm going to close out with a piece of title Chopsticks for Christmas, which is exactly what it sounds like. You're going to hear chopsticks, and you're going to hear holiday songs. Uh, we wish you all a very happy holiday season, whatever it is that you celebrate. And, uh, you know, Christmas right around the corner at New Year's. Uh, my wife and I will be traveling with the South Coast Youth Symphony to Spain and France um, over, over the break. Uh, I get to conduct as well as play trumpet, and she's going to play the flute. And uh, this will be the, my 11th time to Europe. So all playing music every time. So it's pretty, really cool to be able to see what music can do in the lives of people, what it's done for me. Both of my kids have been to Europe multiple times because of music. And uh, so that's one of the neat joys that you can have. I think before we do this, I think uh, Kira wanted to come up. Come on up here, Kira. Uh, this is our booster president, Kira. She wants to say a few words. Here you go. Do our last. 